Hi there, it's Kevin with the Rogue Market here with today's episode of the Daily Delve, where we delve into the MG market to look for a card that has the potential of going up. So today I'm going to pick Crystal Skull Spyglass. This came from Assassin's Creed. I like this card because it just feels so easy to slot into so many decks. Casual players eat this up. It ramps. It allows you to look at the top card of your library and play any historic lands or historic spells and commander that is basically most of your deck. Uh, with more and more legendary cards being printed or more artifacts, sagas, this, this card just gets better and better. The card is also hard to reprint as it is very specific to an IP. They have said they're going to try to reprint these cards in more of a magic tone, but with the Now Space Universes Beyond, I'm not even sure that these cards are going to need reprints. It's things like Wizards of the Coast just kind of thrown their, their hands up in the air and said, okay, we're just going to you know, let things go with the, the, uh, not really worrying about getting cards represented in Magic the Gathering now that Universe is Beyond to be legal and standard and whatnot. So I think this card is going to be kind of difficult to reprint and it might not see a reprint for quite some time. So Crystal Soul Spyglass has gone up recently. You can't get it as cheap as $1.30, but I think at three bucks, it's still a pretty good pickup. The sell through rate's pretty good, four per day. Uh, almost 400 sold in the last three months, and there's still about 700 on the open market. Assassin's Creed is pretty much coming to its supply end. I don't think there's going to be many collectors opened of this. There still are the Beyond boosters that are available, but those are starting to run out, and it's going to become rare and rare for this card to actually enter the market as a card. And as I stated, it sees a ton of play in EDH, and 2% of all blue decks that are eligible to play it play this card, and it's just easy to slot in basically any deck. So there will be a lot of historic base decks that are printed in the future there will be a lot of decks that utilize just casting artifacts and crystal skulls can be perfect for being able to to chain off what it does right now with most people are playing it is in artifact based decks where you can then just start chaining off the top of your library the fact that you can actually even get a historic land which is very pertinent to those type of decks because a lot of the lands end up being historic then yeah, this, this card is is very combo-centric in those type of decks. So the, the uh, buy list is not the greatest right now in places like Card Kingdom. They are out of stock, though, so I'm, I'm assuming that they're going to increase this this buy list from $0.70 cents upwards to like a buck twenty-five or more and, uh, and actually increase this price as they it seems they have been selling uh, through these cards whenever they get restocked of them. So for today, I like this for that reasons. Typically, I like to, to pick cards that are at their lowest, even though this one is not at its lowest. I think this is a great time to pick up the Crystal, Sp Crystal Skull Spyglass. Be sure to check back tomorrow for more content with the Daily Delve. This has been Kevin with the Rogue Market. Thanks for watching.